Hello and welcome to my BEng Design Engineering project, ROS Blocks. ROS Blocks is a series of software packages that allow the Baxter robot to copy any tower that has been built by a human. This first section, Builder, shows how the robot can be used as a pick and place machine to place the blocks in the desired order. Baxter has an accuracy of plus or minus 5 millimetres. The second software package, Basilisk, uses the camera built into the robot's arm. Using a camera and OpenCV, we are able to detect different colour spectrums. Here we are detecting orange or fleshy tones. In this next example, we see by altering the hue and saturation values, we are able to isolate different colour tones. Here, we see just the blue block isolated. By splitting and combining different colour filters, we can get different blocks. The final package, Designer, is a GUI that allows us to build blocked towers on screen. Here we can see that adding a range of different blocks is possible. It is also possible to simulate gravity with inside the designer application. Here, if we stagger the blocks and then run gravity simulation, we can see how the blocks fall into place. This tower would work in real life, so the blocks have remained as they are. If we move a block into a position where it would fall, we can see that this is simulated in the tower. Although not an accurate representation of how the block would fall, it shows us that there was a collision. To resolve this, we can move the block up and to the left. Finally, we show the full process. First, the Basilisk application is launched on the computer. We can check that there is a good reading for each of the blocks. Once we have a good reading, we can exit the application and run the Architects application, which converts it into the correct data structure. Finally, by opening the GUI and loading the file that has been generated, we can see that the reading was a success. If we compare this to the reading currently seen in the Basilisk viewport, we can see they match up. Finally, we can send this data to the Baxter Build It program, which will then use the blocks to place them into order. Thank you for watching.